Hello, this is Vivian and I'm with Silent Christian No More. And we know that being a silent Christian is an oxymoron because you can't be a Christian and be silent. And what we need to do is to let our voices be heard and our actions seen. Now, I talked about yesterday about how the spiritual gifts, um, and specifically it says in the scriptures that prophecies will fail, tongues will cease. And knowledge, uh, they're all going to just vanish away. And I just wanted to come and talk just a little bit about this, trying to keep it under three minutes. But um, that was in First Corinthians, the 13th chapter. But I was looking at that. And if we go to the 21st chapter of Revelations, the book of Revelations, which is the last book. And the third verse, it said, and I heard a loud voice from heaven saying behold the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people God himself will be with them and be their God so we're not going to need all of those things those spiritual gifts are not going to be ne necessary because we're going to have God himself here with us and um, so prophecy uh, tongues and you know, knowledge. Those are all spiritual gifts for, as they say in the scripture, such a time as this. For this time, they're temporary things. But, you know, when the creator of the world, the creator of the universe, um, that's why I don't understand how people worship the universe, but that's a whole nother topic for another day. But, when we get the creator here, we're not going to need a prophecy because he's here. You know, we're not going to need the tongue because God is here. We're not going to need the knowledge because all knowledge will be, will be here. We'll be, we're in the presence of it all. We don't have to question it. We don't have to test it. God is there. He is here with us. And I got to read this other scripture that comes right after it. It says, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There should be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There should be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. And that's Revelations, the 21st chapter. The, the, I, I read for you the third and the fourth verse. And um, ah, just the thought of it is just overwhelming. You know, God will be right here with us. So we won't have a need for the prophets and the prophetess of those people endowed with the gift of tongues and those people for knowledge. Because we have all those things right there embodied in the God that we serve. He's the creator of it all. But tomorrow I'm just going to break those three things down individually, prophecy, tongues, and knowledge. And um, we'll talk a little bit more about it tomorrow. So I thank you all for hanging out with me. Um, I was in, what, 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, um, when it talked about the spiritual gifts going away. And Revelations, the 21st first chapter, the 3rd and the 4th verse. Hey, make the commitment to be a silent Christian no more by letting your voices be heard and your actions be seen. I'll see you all on tomorrow. Bye-bye.